everyone! It's me, SamerGirl101, as most of you guys know, and today we're going to be going through all the questions that you guys have left on my previous Q&A video. And, uh, just before I get started with this, this is going to be a long video because... Oh boy, there was a lot more questions than I expected, so... Let's get to this, shall we? I think we shall. Alright. From He Who Fights Coffee, also known as Coffee Gag. Would you be able slash interested slash able to make a discord? I, uh, <laughs> I think you were trying to say would you be able slash interested in making a discord? Which, um, unfortunately I'm not able to make a discord because that kind of goes past my own personal policies. However, if I didn't have those policies, would I be able to make a discord? Or would I want to make a discord? Sammy, grammar. Um, probably not. <laughs> Because I am an incredibly lazy person, so I don't like the idea of managing a group chat. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, technically, I could get my boyfriend to manage the Discord, but he already manages a lot of Discords, so yeah. <laughs> so unfortunately, I have to say no to that. And would you be interested in doing an abridged show, like Love Live or another anime? Um. I would love to do an abridged show, however, I don't have the script writing skills nor the editing software required to make an abridged show. Not to mention my policies kind of get in the way of me doing that sort of thing. However, if I was to be part of an abridged show, I would absolutely love to do it. Plus, um, if it was Love Live, this is kind of an idea I have. Basically, what would happen is it would be a normal abridged show up until the inserts. And when it came time for the inserts, they would be parodies of the original. I don't know, just me? J just me? <laughs> but, yeah. I, I would love to do it, but I don't have the capabilities to do so. Currently. From Cool Glaceon 64 also known as Cool Dude. What is your favorite color? I would have to say pink, but I also like black, so pink and black are typically my favorite colors. Also, what's your favorite part about being a YouTuber? Definitely the community aspect, like being able to interact with an audience the way that I can and also the fact I've been able to make so many friends in the past couple years. Just, that, that's just so great for me, so yeah, community. That's the thing, it's the community. Community. I'm just gonna keep saying community. <laughs> okay, moving on. Astral, aka Deotaku Girl. Hello Deotaku Girl, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> hey, hey, time for me to be in one of these for once. Opinion on our lord and messed up saviors, 2B and 9S. Okay, I know you didn't ask about 2B's butt, but this kind of correlates, so I think that's okay to say. What do I think of 2B's butt? 10 out of 10. It's a butt that I like. <laughs> um, but what do I think of them, honestly? I like them. I do legitimately like their characters, and I also really like their character designs. If I had to betwi pick between either of them, I'd probably say 9S, because S boy, he's really cute. <laughs> um, and for those who don't know, I actually ship them, so yeah, it's a little bit awkward. <laughs> so yeah, I like them. I do legitimately like them. I ship them, and I like Jimmy's butt. In conclusion, um, any future plans for the channel that you can reveal? Um, hmm, not all that much really. I don't really have that many future plans other than to just keep doing what I'm doing. I think the most that would count for a future plan is me simply doing more collaborations with different voice actors. That's definitely a big goal for me, to just try working with different voice actors either on my channel or different channels, absolutely. Will you do any covers of songs from Kagoto Project? Um. I think I have in the past, especially for I Know's Fury of Happiness. Um, I don't know if I took those down or not, I have to go check. <laughs> um, but if I were to do any reduxes, I probably would do a redux. The only problem is that I Know's Fury of Happiness is heavily copyrighted, same thing with a lot of Kokoda Project. So I would like to, but I wouldn't be able to post it on YouTube, so maybe keep posted on my Twitter if I post it to SoundCloud, because I'll probably share it if I do do Kalkuto Project on my SoundCloud. So, yeah. I, I want to, just the copyright is kinda getting in the way. <laughs> Alright, follow Junkster. Here we go. 
Do you ever think you'll do something similar to the weight of the word course? Wait, weight of the word? I mean, words do have some weight to them. <laughs> I know you were saying weight of the world. Um, I want to do something like that again, especially with Fire Emblem this time around. The only thing is that participation level was pretty low during Weight of the World, so it's kind of like I want to do it, but I don't know if you guys would want to do it, so that's my inner conflict with that right now. I want to do it, but I don't know if you guys want to do it. <laughs> um, do you prefer music that is more intense and angry or slower and sad? I'd have to say slower and sad because it relates more to the situations that I'm going to be listening to music, whether it be at my desk, in my bed, dancing around, or on traveling, like whether it be by walk or by um, car. It's just generally I prefer to listen to slower music just because I can picture things in my head a lot easier. Then with Intense and Angry, it just feels like a barbarian of sound to my ears. <laughs> I don't know how to put it, but I prefer slower and sad. Um, what kind of games do you like to play? Well, um, if it wasn't obvious with Fire Emblem, I do prefer turn-based RPGs as opposed to real-time RPGs. This is because I do have a slower reaction time, so sometimes real-time RPGs can be a little bit challenging for me to play. But I'm trying to get used to it. I'm trying to learn. Especially since I want to be able to play Knights of Azur 2 and Nier Automata. <laughs> I wanna I wanna play a Stoopy! <laughs> Um, but if I had to pick any other genres, I would have to say visual novels, absolutely, and, um, simulation games also, you know, like The Sims or Honey Camp Studio? <laughs> That's a game I won't stream. Uh, but, yeah, those are the kind of games I typically like to play. What was your favorite dub to make? Oh man, this is kind of tough. Since I have so many, I'm gonna be categorizing them into different series, so in this case, Doki Doki Literature Club, Fire Emblem, and Nyatomata. So for Fire Emblem, I have to say the Dragon's Vessel was absolutely my favorite just because I was doing a lot of different stuff. It was a bit more of a bigger scale production than I usually used to. It took several days, it almost took a month, but it was so worth it and I was so proud of how it turned out. So yeah, just me trying out new things is, it made me happy. Yeah, that's how I put it. <laughs> As for Doki Doki Literature Club, um, I definitely have to say Yuri's Yuri should join the opera club, just because it was a weird day for me when I made that. I was just, I was just laying in bed looking at the comic on my phone. And I'm just like, yeah, I can see myself doing this, but what if I did it with opera? What if I did it with opera? So I was just like, frig it, we're gonna do it. So I recorded it, just then posted it. <laughs> it was a weird day for me, <laughs> but it turned out to be a pretty. Pretty popular, actually. I'm I'm pretty impressed with with, with, why, with people liking it. I'm just like, I, I worked really hard on the Dragon's Vessel, but this is the thing that's getting views. <laughs> um, but I am very proud of that video. As for Nier Automata, and yes, it's gonna be more of Blue Sorts because I am biased. Uh, I definitely have to say uh, Your High Units Gaming absolutely was definitely one of my personal favorites, just because I felt a lot more confident with the way I sounded as 2B. In this case, I actually sounded a little bit more closer to the original 2B, and not to mention the emotions were on point, and come on, video games? I I'm a gamer myself. Come on. <laughs> um, and also the improv at the end was a lot of fun for me to do, honestly. And then of course, Earth Blue helping me out with the dub. He did He did a fantastic job. He, so he sounds great as I guess. <laughs> Did I not mention that? Um, also, one of the funnier things was that um, my boyfriend actually took a look at the comic before I started working on it, and he's like, this is kind of reference to Monster Hunter. So I was able to get a little bit of insight from my boyfriend for that particular dub. So, yeah. So those are my favorites. Okay, I rambled on that. What's your favorite movie? Now, see, this is kind of tough, because I have a really hard time pinpointing my favorite movie. It's usually mood dependent because I'm, I'm 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 a person full of emotions, but pretty much it's mostly mood dependent on how I'm feeling at the time. So I can't really say I have a favorite movie. I have a lot of movies I really like, but I can't pinpoint one as my favorite. If I have to say a couple films I liked in the past, 
past year, I would absolutely have to say um, top three would have to be Midnight Sun, uh, A Silent Voice, and Love Live School Idol Festival movie. Not specifically in that order, but those are some of my top three in the past year that I've watched. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> but to, to, to be blunt, I have a lot of favorite movies, I just, I can't pinpoint one. What game and console do you prefer slash have or PC? Well, currently I have PC, 3DS, and Switch. I used to have a Wii, but it broke pretty recently. It, it died on me. Rest in peace. <laughs> um, but if I have to actually pick a gaming console I currently prefer, I would have to say that the 3DS is absolutely my favorite. Just because I've had a lot of good memories on the 3DS, and it's small, it fits in my hands pretty well, actually, surprisingly. And there's a lot of games on that system that I really liked, so yeah, 3DS. What is your favorite character from Fire Emblem Awakening and Fire Emblem Fates? Um, my, my Awakening answer really hasn't changed since the last Q&A, which is I like all the characters. <laughs> I can't pick one over the other, I do legitimately like a lot of them. Um, even my opinion of Barja has actually gotten better. But I still lock my bathroom door when she uh, when I take showers. I don't want her peeking in on me. I stuttered during that, but that's okay. <laughs> As for fates, I would have to say that it's 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 Azura. <laughs> Why? Because Azura. Because Azura. <laughs> um, will you ever be doing any Fire Emblem gameplay? Uh, I would like to. I don't know how to broadcast it or record it, but I want to. Can someone help me with this? <laughs> but I want to, but I don't know how. So yeah, that, that's how I put it. Thoughts on Alm and Solica as lords? I like it. I like that you get to experience both sides of their story, and also the fact that if you just played through Alm's story, you would just think that Solica is a damsel in distress. But you see Solica, you know, fighting her way through pirates and evil slime creatures, yes, and making a stupid decision. That I will not spoil, but she makes a stupid decision. Um, but yeah, I like it. Thoughts on Bride Kata and Groom Marf being able to be married in Fire Emblem Heroes? Yas! I am happy about that. Do you have any OCs? If so, how many are there? Um, so... I technically only have one, and that's the avatar that represents me, which I don't necessarily think that counts. Does it count? I don't know if it counts. I guess technically yes, but technically no. I don't know. Can someone explain OCs to me? Uh, do you have any pets? Yes, I actually do. She's a, um, she's a brown doggo. Here's a picture. <laughs> uh, how was your day? Uh, pretty good. I'm actually, for the past week, I haven't been feeling all that well, sadly. I'm currently sick, and I haven't been feeling well, like I said, so the fact I'm able to record right now is pretty cool. <laughs> How is it that your voice sounds so great, but mine sounds like a sick Batman? Um... Well, here's the thing. I used to have a really squeaky voice as a kid, so I don't know how this happened. Puberty, maybe? Um... But if I have to like give an analyzed response, I would have to say that definitely maybe my experience with singing and voice acting has kind of evolved my voice into what you hear today. So yeah, just the fact that I've been training for so long made it sound like this, so maybe you'll graduate from sick Batman to actual Batman? Maybe? Maybe? Um, and why'd you start doing voice acting? It was just a thing that I did one day. I found a comic that I found online, and I just wanted to do it. I just was like, I want to give this a voice. I'm gonna do it. I have a microphone that's here. Let's go. Let's go. I'm, I'm stuttering through this, but <laughs> basically I saw it and I wanted to do it, and I liked it, so I just kept doing it, and poof, that's how it happened. Since you seem good at both, I don't suppose you could explain the difference in vocal control required between singing and voice acting. Please help. I want to be a good singer boy. Hmm. Now, this is kind of tough because you're starting out as a voice actor and I started out as a singer. Um, so when I was very little, because I've been singing ever since I was a young child, 
I would try to impersonate the singers I would hear on the radio, and eventually I started to morph my own singing style from that. And then voice acting, I guess I want to say that singing did give me a little bit of an advantage in stepping into voice acting, because my voice was already able to go into a variety of tones, so it came slightly natural to me as I would say, because I still had to try really hard to sound good and to not stutter. So yeah, that, that's how I put it. However, when it comes to singing, um, I think the best way to describe singing for me when it comes to vocal control is I try to imagine my vocal cords sort of bending to the melody that I'm trying to sing if I'm having a really hard time singing the song. Like at the beginning, that was what I had to picture in order to be on key. It was to picture my vocal cords just bending along to every single word. As for voice acting, it's just generally speaking and trying to sound like the character while also picturing the emotions that they're experiencing. Just emotion. Emotion. But that's how I put it. I hope that helps. I don't really know how to explain it. Sorry. Where do you think your channel will be in the next year? Um, hmm. I really don't know, actually. There might be less frequent uploads because apparently my se in the second year of my program, there is it's going to be a very high difficulty spike. So there might be less videos on my channel next year. That that's that, that's what I'm guessing. That, that's what I'm guessing. Maybe I don't know. I don't know where the what the future holds for me, other than still being voice acting. Don't know if this was already asked, but what are your top five anime? Okay, lightning round. Let's go. Let's see. We've got. Hmm, what do we got here? We got. This might take a second. So let's see. We got Agretzko, The Devil's a Part Timer, Seven Deadly Sins, Madoka Magica, and. I guess if I had to pick like an offbeat one, um, Miss Koizumi loves ramen noodles. I, I, I've never eaten actual ramen, so that's the closest thing I'll get to ramen. Yes. What's your favorite fan-made comic that you've seen on the internet? Alright, so I'm gonna pick one, and sadly, um, it is near Automata related. I'm sorry, Fire Emblem fans, I'm sorry. Um, just to kind of be like a little bit different from what you guys expect. I guess my favorite Nier Automata comic that I've seen that's fan made would have to be the post ending E doujin that I've seen recently. I'll leave a link in the description below to it and show some lovely images. But it's just because it makes sense within the context. They don't instant, like in some fan fictions I've actually read for post ending E, they don't become a couple. Because people think they become a couple, and I'm just like, I mean, it's a possibility, but they just revived. Which in that case, this is why I like this particular doujin, because it really delves into their characters themselves, you know, like the fact that they still have a lot of things that they do need to go over, and they need to figure out what they're gonna do. I like that, so yeah, that's my favorite. <laughs> Also, favorite ship. Oh man, I have to list off a ton. Here we go. Uh, Crom and Robin from Fire Emblem Awakening, Silk and Alm from Fire Emblem Echoes, Female Corrin and Azura from Fire Emblem Fates, uh, da da da, Kaden and Marf, or Seda and Marf, I don't know how you say it. <laughs> um, mm, 2B and 9S, maybe 2B and 6O a little bit. Uh, j j j just a smidge. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's it. Is that is that all the ships that I know currently that I like? I think so. Okay, <laughs> moving on. What is life? If I had to put it in an overly generalized subject matter, life is a series of events that's different from person to person. There may be something similar in people's lives that is similar to one another, but it will always be different. There will always be slight differences between each life. Wow, that was deep. Too deep. Uh, what inspired you to start the channel, or why did I start YouTube in the first place? Well, um, 
this is going to sound a little bit weird, especially from someone who is pretty introverted and pretty shy, but I always liked the rush of emotions I got when I would perform on a stage. Like if I was in a school play or if I was in a talent show, I loved that. I don't know why. Maybe my, maybe my body's addicted to the adrenaline or something. I don't know. But pretty much, I just liked having that rush of emotions and entertaining an audience, making people smile and making feel the emotions of the character. So then I started seeing people in just entertaining audiences just out of the comfort of their own home from YouTube. And keep in mind, I was like 13 or 12 or even 11 at this age, but it really inspired me to just want to do that. I really wanted to be able to just do that. So. Yeah, just entertain an audience. That's pretty much my was my goal from the beginning. So, yeah. How is YouTube treating you and your channel? I say it's uh it's doing pretty good. Yeah, it's doing pretty good. I haven't heard any complaints of people not seeing the videos that I've been uploading. So, I guess it's going okay. I shall ask three questions. It's like Aladdin, but not really. Oh dear. Who are your five favorite fictional characters of all time? Gosh dang it! Um, let's see. Okay, I really need to think about this one. Let's see. It, off the top of my head, this is off the top of my head. Uh, Retzko from Aggressive Retzko. 9S. Solka from Fire Emblem Echoes. Um. This is hard. Azura from Fire Emblem Fates and Futaba from Persona 5. Love you, Hikari. <laughs> uh, why are you so. Mm -hmm. um, uh, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't even think of myself as cute. I think, I think of myself as decently attractive. A real oh, oh what there was a real question too okay what do you want to work as when you graduate this is something I actually thought about quite a bit now for those who don't know I I'm currently studying computer engineering technology and when I get out I definitely want to be a developer I want to be a programmer so as for what I want to develop in I I'd say websites and general computer programs are what I would want to do. However, the dream is to get into game development. I really want to work with games because I like the logic behind games. I like making games. Whenever we get to make a game in programming, I'm just like, yas. <laughs> if I were to need a female voice in my videos, how can I contact you? Well, Zeron, you already figured this out like two days after you asked this question. But for those who don't know how to contact me, you can always contact me on my Twitter and just simply ask. So, yeah. And that's all the questions. Except for one. <gasps> Let's flash to the next recording. Whoosh. Whoosh. All right, so a couple people actually requested that I read the messages to various creators that I had written for the original speech. So we're just going to hop right into it. I hope you guys don't mind that you guys are going to hear a little bit of page turning because I had actually handwritten these myself. And if you guys happen to, like any of you guys happen to come from Twitter, specifically I tagged you with the link. Hi, um, you're one of the creators I wanted to give a message to. I, uh, I hope you don't mind with how awkward I can be sometimes, so, yeah, I hope you don't mind the message I have to give you. Alright. To the two YouTubers who truly ignited my love for Fire Emblem, thank you for helping me through a very dark period of my life and for getting me more into Fire Emblem. I still believe that if it weren't for you two, I wouldn't be where I am today. Seriously. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, Annie. To A Shadow Reviews, thank you for supporting me early on, for encouraging me to pursue voiceovers when I was still unconfident in my speaking skills. I think this may have been where my VA journey tr truly began. As you can see, I still have trouble speaking, but I'm trying my best. Thank you. Tequila, 
Thank you for always supporting me and my adaptations of your works. You're always so kind to me. And when we talk, I always feel like I'm talking to a dear friend instead of an artist with many fans. Don't deny it, you have a lot of fans. <laughs> Including me. Doing adaptations for you gives me a sense of pure joy. Like I'm making a personal gift to a dear friend instead of just a simple comic dub. Thank you. To Ikari and Fallen, thank you both for being great friends and fellow creators. I'm always so happy when we get to interact with one another, whether it be on streams, Twitter, or just simply comments on videos. You're both wonderful friends to me, and I hope I can continue to cheer you both on and support you guys like you do for me. Seriously, thank you. To Bloom, thank you for your continuous support for my voice acting and your friendship. When I first heard you voice act, I heard someone really talented and dedicated to their craft. I wanted to improve my own voice acting so that I could appear like that in someone else's eyes, to be someone else's inspiration. I thought that I wouldn't even be able to say a word to you, but uh, <laughs> flash to two years later, we're working on projects together and if it's not too bold, I see you as a dear friend of mine. So whether it be voicing a ghostly princess in distress, or as a combat android with a nice ass, I'm always happy to voice alongside you. Thank you. To all the directors that have casted me, thank you. I'm always so honored when you choose me out of all possible actresses. This past year, I've been stepping out of my comfort zone by auditioning for several VA projects, but all of you have made it an easy, cool, and comfortable experience for me. Some projects even helped me develop some of my go-to voices. Thank you. To my viewers, thank you for making my dreams come true and continuing to keep them alive. To me, 2,000 subscribers was something that could only happen in dreams. Sorry. But it happened because of every single one of you. Thank you. There are no other words that work as well as thank you for this. <laughs> this is the Sammy Girl 101, and I'll never stop dreaming. Thank you, everyone.